it is an exciting time for Kansas City. I mean, we've been waiting for this for 50 years. Brother Gates, I know, uh, has been waiting for it. 50 years. <laughs> oh, <man. Exactly. laughs> Mayor Quinton Lucas took some time out of his Thursday for some barbecue, announcing a little wager with San Francisco's mayor. The winner, of course, gets some dinner, not a bad prize. That spread looks delicious. Yeah, it looks really good, even here at 6.40 in the morning. And right now, Mayor <laughs> Lucas, he woke up early to join us in the studio before heading off to Miami. Yes. He's about to jump on a plane in a few uh, hours. I got to ask you, you know, you've been involved with the city even before becoming mayor yeah. for quite some time. So how has this felt different? I mean, this has to be the oh. most memorable time for us here in Kansas City. You know, it really is. I'm waking up and it feels like it's it's almost Christmas morning. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, particularly with Red Friday, everybody's wearing red. Yep. Everybody's getting excited. The game is almost finally here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kansas City, we've been waiting 50 years. So I'm just <laughs> really pumped. Long time. Of course, obviously, we all think the Chiefs are going to win. We're crossing mm -hmm. our fingers yes. for that. If they do win, we've been talking about a parade. Any details that you can <laughs> share with us? So many people are trying to plan for this. Well, well, you know, I think what I have said a few times, we're, we're not giving out full details yet because, frankly, there's still some things that are, are planning. For those who were around several years ago, the Royals Parade, in many ways it will be similar. Mm -hmm. And so I guess plan accordingly. It'll be a little bit colder. We'll see what Aaron does for us with the weather. <laughs> a lot uh, of pressure. But, but nevertheless, I mean, that's kind of what we're looking at. But for now, we're making sure police department is talking to so many other agencies, the city, et cetera, right. to make sure we'll be ready. Okay, and you're going to be in Miami having a ton of fun there watching <laughs> the game on the field. What's your message to Kansas Cityans who are going to be partaking in any of the events around the city. Well, this first of all, get out and about and enjoy this yeah. beautiful weekend in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Power and Light District is going to have a very significant event. Mm -hmm. There are ones that are going on all around the region. And so just go out, behave responsibly. Um, we have police ready on standby, but we hope there are no incidents all weekend long. Everybody sure. can just enjoy an outstanding Super Bowl. Yeah, are we ready for the excitement that this weekend is going to bring to this city? You know, I. I I think we are, although I still don't know <laughs> yeah. what I'll do. Uh, every now and then I say, well, my gosh, if the Chiefs actually win a Super Bowl, will I burn a couch like a Kentucky fan or something? <laughs> but the um, mayor's burning but a couch. Don't do that. That'll don't be bad. Do that. So I won't do that. You don't do that either. Okay, all right. But Noted. we'll all be responsible. But nevertheless, uh, look. I'm pumped. This is the most exciting thing that really has happened in Kansas City sports. I almost want to say ever, I'm a big Chiefs guy. Yeah. And so looking forward to it. It is. I mean, uh, it could be huge this weekend. We, we saw a big victory dance and celebration from you at the NFC <laughs> Championship. Are we going to see that even bigger come Sunday? I mean, you will see three-year-old, four-year-old me just like jumping up and down, screaming, crying. There will be tears. There will be so much. Uh, and I think you will see that all throughout Missouri and Kansas, all throughout the country when yeah, the Chiefs win. You really you better will. believe it. I, Anyone you're looking forward to seeing down in Miami? You know, actually, I uh, built up a friendship with uh, Patrick Mahomes' mom. And Aww. so She's we great. saw some of the playoff mm -hmm. games together. We'll catch up uh, down there and his family. They have been great to get to meet and get to know, cheering for an outstanding player, an outstanding team. Yeah, you know, I don't want to take the attention away from the yep. Chiefs, but I do want to ask you, there's been a lot of talk this week about a downtown baseball yes. stadium. Mm -hmm. And it goes hand in hand with the excitement that we've been feeling around the city. I mean, we're expecting 20,000 people at Power and Light. Do you foresee that happening? Or do you think that could be something that would be just, you know, a great opportunity for the city to keep growing? So you you never say never. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what I've said a few times is while it is an intriguing idea, we have to figure out how to pay for it first. Yeah. And we have a lot of issues in Kansas City right now. People are calling me about potholes that we need to fix, oh, yeah. roads yeah. we need to repave, all types of things. So I think we need to spend at least a little bit of time mm -hmm. working on those basics. That doesn't mean never for downtown baseball, but it means probably not the next one, two, three years that we're yeah. thinking It about. is one of those things, though, with sports is one thing that Kansas City will come out and spend their money on. So That's you right. can imagine what it would do for downtown. Let's so focus on that we'll Super see. Bowl win on Sunday. We oh, got huge. this. All right. Mary right. Quinton Lucas, thanks Thank so much for stopping by. Thank you. Go to Miami. Do we, Go do we know what San Francisco is buying you if we win? Uh, just a bunch of random stuff that's not nearly as all good. Right. Rum cake, all that. All right, yeah. well, we'll take whatever. Yeah. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Thank Mayor. You. We appreciate it. We'll have it. a lot more